Hello, I'm Adam Jones with Trilithic EAS. Today I'm going to discuss Trilithic's CAP solution for systems with the Easy Series encoder decoder. Easy CAP is a powerful and flexible solution for CAP compliance. We offer it as a Windows service or as a standalone Linux based integrated server. Both varieties offer the same capabilities and allow the operator to decide which version is best for their particular deployment. EasyCAP offers the ability to monitor multiple CAP sources, text-to-speech, and Spanish language support. It is easily field updatable to allow for improvements in the system or to add features and enhancements requested by our customers or required by law. Plus, it has the ability to send those events to multiple Easy Series encoder decoders. All this can greatly reduce the cost for your company to become CAP compliant. Let's take a look at the EasyCAP interface. This is the Trilithic EasyCap Windows Service Configuration Program. Looking at the General tab, this allows for basic configuration of the Windows Service itself. You'll see listed the Data Directory, which is where the service itself is installed, the Logs Directory, which is the current active log, and then the Log Archive Directory. This is where logs that get over 100 kilobytes in size are stored. The General tab also provides for some additional functionality such as filtering the accepted CAP versions, adjusting audio output volume of the CAP service, this way you can normalize CAP message audio with existing program audio, the ability to use text-to-speech, and use Spanish audio. If you should happen to have a slow speed connection between your CAP service and one of your Easy Series units, you can disable EAN streaming. This will allow you to use a fallback input or one of your local radio inputs as your CAP source, or excuse me, as your EAN audio source. There are additional text options and CAP protocol options on this page as well. The service also allows for monitoring up to eight CAP sources. Each CAP source can be of a different protocol. As an example, under DM Open, we give the message a friendly name, list the interface type and protocol, give it a log ID, how many seconds we want to pull the device. Basically what this means is every 30 seconds we will reach out and try to pull a message down. And then the authenticate, authentication information for this interface. You'll see under TCP it's a similar setup. Friendly name, select the interface type, the address, and corresponding information to access the CAP messages. Under EAS encoders, we can support sending CAP messages up to eight easy series encoder decoders. Each one will require the same information, a friendly name, a password to get into the unit, the IP address, the ports that you've selected to receive messages and audio on, and then your call sign or station ID. In most cases, this is just an abbreviation of your cable company. Under language options, we have the ability to use Spanish audio and use Spanish text with each encoder. Finally, under the status screen, this is your real-time log. This will let you know what your CAP service is doing, if it is communicating with its CAP servers, and if it has been able to process messages accordingly. After you've made any changes, your service will automatically start and stop and begin processing with the new settings. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration of Trilithic EasyCap.